Hello everyone, this is Jenny, and welcome back to my channel. And today, we are going to go over some definitions together. And hopefully, these definitions will clear some things up for some people that can't seem to think for themselves. So, the first definition we're going to discuss is bully. What is a bully? A bully is a person who habitually seeks to harm or intimidate those whom they perceive as vulnerable. Let's say that again. A person who habitually seeks to harm or intimidate those who they perceive as vulnerable. I recently posted a video about a certain person that I have been watching for a while. And that person reminded me of my own mother. My mother passed away in July of last year. She passed away of a terminal illness that was not cancer, but it was just as bad as cancer. And I watched my mother deteriorate the last two to three years of her life because she was abusing opioids. Now, they were prescription opioids, but a prescription drug is still a drug. And there are signs to look for when you have a loved one that's being prescribed prescription drugs that can potentially prolong their lives. One of those signs is someone who is napping all the time, someone who is constantly shopping because shopping is a sign of euphoria or it's, it's, an, it's a cause from euphoria because you're always happy and sometimes when you're really happy, you want to spend money. So these are things that I noticed in my own personal experience with my mother and Prior to my mother passing, my father passed for, from a similar situation. He passed when I was only 19 from a terminal illness. And before he passed, all four of my grandparents passed from cancer. All four of them when I was a young child. So this is all I've known. My entire life has been nothing but watching people die from cancer and terminal illnesses. So when I posted this video, it came from a place of passion and concern. So... For some reason, everyone wanted to twist my video around and make it seem like I'm picking on someone when I was simply trying to help people. I, wanna, I want people to know what the signs of opioid abuse are so they can potentially help their own loved ones. So, when I think about what a bully is, I think about someone who makes a video and provides someone's YouTube channel name and asks 9,000 subscribers to go to that person's channel and attack her. Now, they may not necessarily say, hey, go to that person's video and make threatening comments and disrespectful comments. They may just say, hey, you know, this is what she's saying. So, you know, just go to the video and report her and, and we'll just go from there pretty much. So <laughs> it reminds me of something else that happened in American history last year. Or it might have been the beginning of this year. I don't remember when. It, I think it was this year. So when President Trump won... Um, at his conference, he asked everyone to go to the, let's march to the Capitol and show them who we are. He didn't necessarily say, hey, let's burn down the Capitol and, you know, create terrorism in our own nation. He just said his feelings about going to the Capitol and showing out. So this particular person did something very similar. This person's followers were not only attacking me and threatening me, they were disrespecting my children, my innocent children. They were going on old videos and calling my children fat and ugly. <laughs> and making predator type comments and these are the type of followers that she has so as a christian i cannot understand why someone would would even want people like that on their channel and call them family like you're calling people family that are okay like fundamentally okay with calling a child fat and ugly like I, I can't I can't fathom I, I don't get it i'm flabbergasted but hey it is what it is sometimes people Sometimes people show their own characters and you don't have to say anything about it. And I feel like what happened to me the last few days was a direct reflection of who this particular person truly is. People are starting to see things and notice things on their own, but this action in particular really spoke for itself. Okay? So now, let's talk about social media trolling. Okay? A troll is an internet slang for a person who intentionally tries to instigate conflict, hostility, or arguments in an online social community. Hmm. I can think of someone that did that recently. I can think of someone that sent thousands of people to my page and had them harassing me and 
they that person posted a video instigating conflict by providing specific usernames, pointing out specific usernames of people that have made comments, sim simply stating their opinions. The video that I in question here that I that I made wasn't even a question stating an opinion. I didn't state a fact. I didn't state a, an opinion. I simply posted some rhetorical questions and linked some evidence to, to, to prove my point. That's all I did. I was just trying to help people. And I did help people. And as long as I helped some people, that's all that matters. I have no issue being labeled as a villain as long as I helped some people and provided some people a place to feel safe and, you know, vocalize their concerns. So, yeah. I'm most likely, I'm most certainly not a, a troll, but I can certainly point to someone that is a troll for what they did to me and my children and our safety. <laughs> All right, next, let's discuss what a narcissist is. A person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves. I don't need to say any names. You guys can just read this definition and come to your own conclusions about who this fits someone I know someone a lot of you know I believe this particular definition is perfect for them so we'll leave that at that the last thing that I want to talk about is accountability the fact or condition of being accountable and responsible when your actions cause grown women to attack children and call them out of their names and make predatory comments to them and threaten the children's safety, there needs to be some accountability for that. There's absolutely no reason for this to have gone this far. This particular person said nothing to me directly. Instead, they had someone else fight their battles. My video was posted for educational purposes, out of concern, and just to help people. And because of that, my children have been terrorized. And I've had to file police reports about it. It's, it's been that bad. So I've also had taken down videos of innocent videos that I posted years ago of my children when they were young. Have had to be taken down because of the nasty remarks people are making and the threats people are making about me and my family. <laughs> so with that being said, this particular person posted a video from what I've been told. And they took no accountability for what they did at all. They again put blame on me and told people to pray for me. <laughs> they told people to pray for me after they had people harassing my innocent children. So yeah, some people need lessons on accountability. And sometimes tough love is the only way to, to get people to realize what's going on here and, you know, understand the bigger picture. So that's that. I just needed to put that out there because I'm not a bad person. I'm not a troll. I'm not a bully, but I know someone who is. And someone who's most certainly putting themselves out there to look like not the best Christian and putting themselves out there to be in a bad light. But, you know, sometimes followers are just so dead set on wanting to believe this fairy tale that certain people are presenting that they don't think for themselves anymore. They just automatically take that person's word for it is. They don't do their own research. They don't go back and look at old videos to see if that person is being truthful about saying that they were high from a Coca-Cola. They just take take it for what it is, even though there's video evidence and they can go look for it themselves. But hey, it is what it is. Brainwashing and cults, whatever you may say, whatever you may want to call it, it's real. It's It happens. <laughs> so yeah. But that's what it is, folks. You know, I appreciate you guys for the, the ones of you who have actually stood up for me, you know, and said the right things and had your own peace of mind and thought for yourselves. I appreciate that. I appreciate good feedback. I appreciate constructive criticism. I can take that. It doesn't bother me. I won't be broken. But I do cross the line. The line has been crossed as far as my children's safety is concerned. So that is the only reason that I removed my video is because of the threats I was getting towards my children. So yeah, the threats of that woman's followers threatening young, innocent children. It, it speaks for itself. I just forgot to mention one thing. So it's been brought to my attention that the same particular person that we're discussing here had made a comment recently that I am allegedly trying to use her to make money on YouTube. Well, so if this person thinks that I'm, if this person thinks, first of all, that I'm using them to make money on YouTube, that's laughable. 
because all I did was try to educate people on something that was passionate to me. And if they think that by me doing what I did makes me a bad person, then what kind of person does it make them to be selling and promoting diet pills that are not FDA approved to dying people? If this person's channel is to help cancer patients that are dying, that are terminal, why on God's green earth would this person be selling and promoting non-FDA diet supplements to dying people for money? For That's how they're making money. So if them, if me potentially making money by bringing awareness is more important, is, is worse than her or that particular person, him, her, whatever, selling diet pills to dying people for money like what has this world come to please someone tell me <laughs> so yeah I just had to add that because it's important but yeah thanks again for watching guys